second moon is headed our way, at least for a little while. This one will be much tougher to see than our regular moon, of course, because it is quite a bit smaller. It's a so-called moon. It's tiny, tiny, making it difficult to see even if you have a telescope. Uh, the asteroid was spotted in August by an astronomy group called ATLAS, or Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System. That sounds important, and it is. Don't worry, though. This space rock is not going to hit the Earth. It is extremely faint, and that has to do with everything, uh, including how s the size of it, how small it is. It's only 10 meters in diameter, so that's 33 feet, so that's tiny. Uh, and it's probably very, very dark material, which makes it even harder to see because it's not reflecting a whole lot of light. Uh, this particular classification of asteroid actually orbits in the same orbit as the Earth does around the sun. Paul Lewis, thank you for explaining these mm. things to us. We appreciate that. Although 33 feet, if it landed right here in our yard, <laughs> that's big. That is big. This asteroid <laughs> is expected to stay within a close distance to Earth for two months before it's sent back into its normal orbital path. That's pretty cool, though. Yeah. yeah.